Peace and love, family. Hello, my queens. Hello, my king. Thank you for checking me out. As you see, the sister's out here walking, getting a little exercise in. Before I get started, I want to give all honor to the Most High God, Yahweh. All right. And I also want to give all honor to the Son, Christ, Jesus, Yeshua, Lord of Spirit, Lord and Savior. I want to give all honor to the Holy Spirit that leads me into all truth through the power that worketh in me. My I am present, my higher self. I thank you for checking me out, family. Walking, getting out here in nature, it is therapy. I love it, I love it, I love it. I think I'm gonna start doing more of this. It's um, therapy, shall I say. Good for your mind, body, and spirit just to get out here in nature and walk. I had did a video I'm sure many of you family had you know checked out but I was um, speaking about uh, blood over intent and I was saying to flee from it well I'm not gonna speak too much about it um, but it's amazing how when you expose something excuse me I'm sorry about that but it's amazing when you expose um, certain things you know um, how the dark forces come they how the dark forces start to come at you through people. Um, as far as me, I'm covered. I'm blessed. I'm protected. I'm good. But what I mean is, as far as, you know, uh, it's one thing for people to uh, disagree with you, but many of them try to use scriptures to justify their actions. And then you have those that, you know, um, don't care for the scriptures because they look at it you know, as a Bible, as religious, you know, that's still a part of being controlled. But then for them to justify what they do, they want to speak about scriptures. And um, like I said, I grew up in church. You know, uh, I've definitely read the Bible. I read the word, but I just wasn't doer of the word in the past. And now your sister's trying to be doers of the word. That's how I got here, family. Um, I, was speaking, I was speaking to one sister that had did the blood over intent um she was saying how she's communicating with her higher self and you know she's having her own experiences but it was through you know the, the blood over intent and i was letting her know i didn't get to where i am based on blood over intent you know i didn't have to do that i didn't have to you know search outside of myself uh seeking something that is within me the whole time. I didn't have to do all of that. You know, I pretty much, you know, the fact that I believe in the word, I know it is written by man, but it is inspired by God, all right? And just as it's inspired by God, um, you know, in the word, you know, Christ speaks about how he sends us all a comforter. That's the Holy Spirit, all right? And that's what I'm able to tap into to receive my answers, all right? And... Um, I take no credit, it's just a gift of God. Not just me, but many people are able to um, communicate with their higher self, all right? As well as being blessed for the spiritual eyes being open. Um, she had also mentioned something about the mark of the beast, going into getting going into the river about the mark of the beast. I don't know if she was trying to relate that to the third eye. You know, I told her to read, <laughs> read, read, read the word very carefully and, you know, looking to, you know, the eye being single. I mean, there are more verses. Um, there are several verses that speak about your eye being single. You have to find them, seek and so, and so shall you find. But um, basically, you know, I'll let her know your third, your spiritual eye has nothing to do with the mark of the beast, all right? The mark of the beast is, <clears throat> the mark of the beast it will be a chip that by choice one would take, all right? It's nothing that's forced on you, all right? The word lets you know that it's something that a person would take by choice. And um, I don't know. It's like a lot of my um, brothers and sisters are so confused when it comes to this blood intent because, you know, they're calling each other brothers and sisters, but we're brothers and sisters anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though I, I have not been a part of that ritual, I do not agree with it, I still call her my sister, you know? Uh, anyone can change, anyone can repent, anyone 
can fall, but we get back up. You know what I'm saying? And I have no problem with, you know, any of my viewers, any of my subscribers that wants to quote scriptures. I'm all for it, all right? I, I acknowledge the word as the sword of the spirit and a lamp unto our feet. So I get that. You would definitely need it when you're going within yourself. But, you know, like I said, many people want to have these experiences, but they're going by the wrong way. And, you know, um, and the word is about a lot of sorcery. And it's about, you know, when you come into the understanding of the word, you know, when it speaks about, you know, my people perish from a lack of knowledge. And, you know, most high God thoughts are higher than our thoughts. You know, with our own intellect, we think we know what's best. But, you know, that's why we must pray and meditate and go within because what's what's, what's within you is not going to lie to you. I mean, spirit is not going to lie to you. And it's one thing to go within, but you must be also to be able to practice and know discernment as well. You know, or you could be fooled. Anyone could be deceived. And um, so I know it's not like I'm rambling and all of that. I'm just trying to, you know, get my brothers and sisters to see that one must use discernment. Because anytime, you know, uh, she had made a comment about something about light being can be uh, the devil, you know, uh, one could be deceived. You know what? And she's 100% correct. You can be deceived, but you must use discernment and put the word on whatever it is that you're seeing. And if it stays with you, it's of the Most High God. It's his rod and his staff. It's your spirit guides, your angels. But if it's not of God, it's going to disappear. It's going to flee from you. And this has been my experience. You know, a lot of people are not using discernment. Like I told her, you know, um, I don't agree with, you know, that ritual, that practice that they're doing, because that's what Christ was for, uh, Yahshua, that's what he was for. He's already paid the price for all. His His blood was sufficient, you know what I'm saying? And if you are in him, you are covered, you know? You don't have to be out here fighting your own battles and using your own blood. That's the point I'm trying to make, but this is for those who understand what I'm saying, because you read the word, you understand the word. But for those who don't read it, you know, you're going to go about what somebody is telling you and, and you just, like I say, you know, pretty much followers. You're going about what man's telling you and telling what your spirit within is telling you. So that's the point I was trying to make to him. You know, your sister don't know everything, but I do know what I know. And um, like I say, if one wants to practice this ritual, if they feel at peace with what they're doing, uh, and they are, especially if they're seen within the veil, you know, they're, they're at the point where they're able to see their spiritual eyes. And that'll tell it all. What, what's around you? What's around you? You know, are there a lot of dark forces around you? Because if it is, you need to check yourself. Because that's what's influencing you. That's what's influencing you big time. It's basically what's around you. The unseen. So that's all I want to say on that. And, um... I feel like whoever watching this, um, there are no coincidences. Somebody needs needed to see this video. Um, I want to speak on something else real quick. You know, family, that light that I have been seeing lately in the sky, um, it has been a good, it has been good three months. And I would see it in the sky. It's, it looked like a big old bright light in the sky. Go ahead, boo. And, you know, it's always towards the south. Now, you know, I know that we have stars in the, in the sky and all that, as well as we have planets, all right, that are popping up now in the sky. But I have not once have known for planets filming them in the sky to change colors and ship shape. And one minute be there and the next not. For one thing, to look at it with the bare eyes and see it as a bright object. And then your camera's picking up something totally different. This is something new, family. And many people from all over the world are seeing this around the same time. I know for me here in North Carolina, I will see this object you know, pop up. I will actually start seeing it like around about six. That's early. I will see this object before the stars even 
before the star, before the star will start showing, period, I will see this object. It's the only brightest object in the sky showing. And um, this object will stay in the sky for about maybe two hours. And um, then it will just disappear. Now my higher self let me know that it's not a planet and it's not a star. So that's what I'm relying on. It's letting me know that this must be a UFO slash light ship that's in the sky. Because you see it for yourself, family. This object, it's moving. It's moving big time. It's constantly changing colors. It's, it's very quiet, very silent in the sky. It's something like we've never seen before. So I advise many of you stop being so distracted, stop going outside. Um, I know many people have hit me up on my last, well, not my last video, but the first video I did about it. And um, they're from all over. And this, they're saying that they're seeing this out around five, as early as 5.30 in the evening, 5.30 p.m. in the evening. So what that tells you. You won't get this from CNN, trust me, because they're definitely not talking about it. All right. I guess all you'll get is, oh, it's a planet. Okay, yeah, planets are changing colors now in the sky. Okay, all right. Planets are ship shaping on camera, on video. Okay. Family, um, if any of you add me on Google Plus, I had uploaded five pictures of the same object. And um, trust me, when you see it, you're gonna be like, "Wow, you know, this is nothing. This is not the same object that you saw on video." And and actually, it is, but it looks totally different from what you were viewing on video. It looks totally different. So, many of you who do have Google Plus, just check out, um, check me out on Google Plus, and check out the five pictures I uploaded, and see for yourself. Zoom in on those pictures, especially if you have like. Um, Touch screen, zoom in on it, and look at it real good. I did my best to try to zoom in, and it looks like an object. It looks like some kind of energy field, round ball energy field, and within the center of it, it looks like an object. Like some sort of a crap within the object. That's exactly what it looks like, family, but you can see for yourself if you have a chance to um, check it out and zoom in. But you run off, they were here. See for yourself. You know, family, um, I've done a couple of videos where I try to, you know, get a video in when I'm trying to pick my son up and I'm driving and all of that. And I want y'all to know that um, your sister um, definitely knows better to be driving and being on the phone. Um, so to anyone who has been offended by that, you know, oh, she's driving, doing these videos, and, you know, she has a child in the back, you know. Because uh, one, sister, one sister told me she was appalled, you know, I guess I was distracting her with me with me driving. And um, I, I guess she didn't hear the message because she was just too caught up in me driving, trying to do a video holding the phone. But she was right. I shouldn't have been doing it, and I won't be doing it no more, right? So to that sister that saw that, I apologize. You were right. I'm going to start doing that. If anything, I, I'm going to start going outside more, doing videos as well as while I'm walking. Because um, I don't want to, you know, I, I just want to be safe. You know what I'm saying? And be careful, you know, because things do happen. So for any of you who've been checking me out while I'm driving and I'm doing videos, I won't be doing that no more. Now, I could be sitting in my car, parked, doing a video. But as far as me, you know, uh, doing a video while driving, I won't be doing that, all right? So your sister know what time it is, and she's not going to do that anymore, right? But that's not going to do you, me, nobody any good. Oh, many of you being distracted based, you know, on watching your sister driving and trying to do a message. So I heard that sister, and I'm definitely going to stop doing that. See, family, your sister's human. Aren't we all? We all are work in progress. Well, that's the other thing I wanted to speak on, but I don't want to make these videos too long. I think I'll just wait and do another video later. 
Once I put my daughter to sleep, it's almost her nap time. But um, there are some other things that I wanted to speak on, family. But please know, for those who might be a little, might feel a little weird when I speak about my higher self, please know we all have a higher self, all right? Whether you see it or not, you know, your higher self is there. And your higher self is a blessing to have, especially to communicate with. Because when you're in a place of, you know, when it comes to decisions and that you're trying to make and you want to make the right decision, when you're at a crossroad, you know, it's a it's truly a blessing to um, communicate with your higher self to get the answers. You know what I'm saying? Because I, before I even came to this, you know, knowing and and, been, and having this gift that God has blessed me with, you know, I was going by my own intellect, trying to make my own decisions, and even so, a lot of the decisions I was making, they wouldn't, they still weren't for my highest good, shall I say, and um, I definitely was ignoring that little voice, shall I say, ignoring that little um, tugging within that was trying to tell me to go right and I was going left, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, so... You know, that's the blessing of your, your higher self, being in tune with yourself, you know, to um, not so much hear, because I don't hear my higher self. I don't, I do not hear my higher self. Uh, I, I have to go within myself and see my higher self. And that's when I start communicating, because I know exactly what my higher self looked like. And um, I um, just blessed to be able to do this, um, just like many of you. Many of you, many of you are seeing your higher self as well as communicating. So with that being said, please know there's nothing evil about it, all right? These are just things that me, that has really been kept from many of us. Uh, people don't talk about it. Um, most people look at, you know, the subject that I'm talking about, that I speak about, they look at it as witchcraft and all this crazy stuff. But, but it's only because you know nothing about it. Nobody has been talking about it. And like I say, you know, do your own research. You don't have to take my advice. If anything, I invite you to go within yourself. Go within yourself enough and long enough so you can tap into that source that is within you. All right? Because it's there. It is there. That way you won't have to be going by what I say and what others say. You get the answers for yourself. Well, family, I'm going to end this video. I love you in Christ. I thank you for checking me out. And, um... If any of you need to hit your sister up, you know, for whatever reason, um, you can reach me at qmccwest at gmail.com. All right. Um, I'm just grateful and humbled to make these videos. All right. If it's something I know, you know, I would definitely share with you. Um, not all things, because everything is not for everybody. Um, but, you know, definitely, you know, your sister is here to bring the light. All right. I'm all about the light, not of darkness. And uh, your sister definitely do not operate in no blood intent. Christ, in Christ alone, his blood is sufficient. In that order. Thank you, family, for checking me out. And bye for now.